Welcome back, everyone. Looking at storage auctions right here, we have one. I was going to bid on this. It's at four hundred and twenty dollars. Ends in an hour. Um, not a happy taco stacks. Last time this locker was listed, it sold for two hundred and forty bucks. The previous person that won it, I believe, did not pay, so they relisted it. Hello, good morning to you, Salsa. Um, yeah, so it sold for 240 bucks the previous time it was listed, and now it sold for 420 at least 420 There's nothing even in it. It's just a bunch of boxes and bins, but it is what it is. I was going to bid on it probably for like 250 260 this morning, and I guess I woke up. It's not like that. So today is trash picking day. It's auction day. It's all sorts of fun day. Let's get out there and let's see if anyone throw anything in the trash this morning, uh, the previous weeks. We found a bunch of stuff. We found the wheels last week, and uh, let's do it. Let's see what today has in store. Let's go. All right, well, this was the house that dropped off. Well, that was his wheels. That was the house I got the wheels from. They don't have anything out this week. It's kind of weird. Like, over here, like, no one has their trash out, but then when I actually get into town, people have their trash out. It just, it, it, I don't understand it. This guy does. But, you know, there's like eight or ten houses but why do only you know two people have trash out who knows the road can use some new pavement wow so i guess we'll venture into town and try to do some picking there all right been striking out pretty bad this morning trash no one's throwing away any treasures, it seems like. Oh, what's that? <laughs> what in the world? Is that a pineapple fan? That thing looks awesome. Let's check this thing out. A pineapple fan. What the? I've never seen something like that. That thing is wild. Is that a pineapple fan? Is that what you'd call it? Ah, oh, it's all shattered. Does that have a date on? No, made in China. Womp. Womp womp. That's kind of cool though. I kind of like that. I don't know if it'll work, but. If not scrappable, but I kind of thought it might work. I kind of look cool. Somebody at the flea market, if that thing works, somebody at the flea market would buy that just because it's kind of ridiculous. Oy, oy. It's over there. Wood and plastic. Wow, look at all that stuff. person has a lot of stuff. Got some items here on the left. Ooh, and there's a trick here. So, are those the guys with the batteries? People have left me comments saying, check them out, make sure they don't have the batteries in them, because you can scrap the batteries. I know that would be 22 cents a pound, um, and it totally went over my head. To, uh, to check if these guys have uh, the batteries in them. This guy's light. No, they don't. This guy might. Is that the battery? That is the battery. Yeah, get off of the screw. these things work all right that guy felt light so I don't think he does this one I think still has it so I'm waiting grab the John Deere guy because this guy is pretty heavy plus he's kind of cool like I think somebody would probably all right this is really stupid a long time ago at the auction probably last year there was one that was a little bit better condition than this 
used. I think you're missing the rest of the backhoe. Um, and I got like 40 bucks. I was just like shocked because it was like, for what reason? Back and clean over there. I can see the cord snipped from over here. So it's just like, what in the world? But whoever left that comment, I know a couple people left that comment about uh, the batteries on those, those guys. I thought they were easy. I thought they just, you fold up the hood. And you can see them, but I guess not. Um, that one you need to take off a screw, but it looked like the battery is in it. So thank you for whoever left that comment. It's probably only like two or three bucks in scrap, but hey, every little bit helps out here. That's that stuff. Oh, jeez. Okay. That guy's turning. He's turning. I do like the Fila sticker right there. That guy's cool. I like all kids books. Taking that for nostalgia. Nope. The guy's already used. Can't use them. It's like all, all kid stuff. All used kid stuff. Looks like they're cleaning out like the attic or something. Oh well. I was gonna take that thing for nostalgia, but it was already already colored in. The thing was folding up. Pages were curling. Oh well. On to the auction. That was my. This is such a pointless thing. What is this thing? Look at. This is wearing sunglasses. They put indents. It's really red. Like this thing. What is the, You have no mirror here. This guy. Womp. What am I going to do with that? I just fold this guy up. Bloop. Well, we're here at the auction. Hopefully, it's a little bit better than trash pick. I only picked up two things. One thing should be a battery. Maybe I'll take that apart today and show you guys. And then the other thing is that pineapple lamp or the pineapple fan. I don't like this. Oh, it's sturdy for once. Are these security tags? Is that what they are? Napa parts. Some plumbing. So all these things are going up online. I think they cleaned out a country club a long time ago, and I think these are finally um, they're waiting till spring to sell them, which is smart. Think about bringing over that Cub Cadet lawnmower that I pulled out of the trash not too long ago that ended up working. I think I'm going to bring that here because now is the time to sell it, and I think they'll get at least 50, 60 for it, which means I'll get 30 or 40, which is more than I'll get at the flea market. So I got one box of paper here. Paper Moose, I sent her a photo and she said she wanted it because there's some letters in here. It's kind of windy. I don't even know what's really in here. It's valuable. Oh, jeez. There's all these like letters from like the 50s. Got in that I know, unfortunately. <laughs> 1961. Uh, this whole thing right here is all filled with letters. This is kind of old, this Valentine's thing as well. Valentine's greeting. 
So there's some older paper stuff. Got a Pius, which is local here. I think that's in Bangor. That's Phillipsburg. There's a lot of Pius uh, high schools in the United States. I think that's even how you pronounce it. There's all sorts of different stuff in here. Older magazines. 1959. All right. And some older composition notebooks. This looks like algebra. 1958. Oh, jeez. Algebra class in 1958. Amazing, ain't it? It's a whole box of paper. I think I paid like six bucks for it. There's there's probably some value there. I'm not really too fond with you know what what paper stuff is worth a lot of money, but she says it's worth money. I guess I'll buy it. There's inside some older comics. I know a couple of people do ask me about comics and if they ever appear at auctions. It's still only thirty five cents. So I think like what are the nickel ones are the ones that are worth money, the five cent ones, that one's ten cents. So very cool. Then they have uh pest boxes. Like old hat boxes. Alright, I'm here at the recycling place. I left the auction. The only thing I bought, so I'm not staying for the comics and the nicer stuff. The only thing I bought was that one box of paper stuff. Check if there's anything. Yeah, these things look empty. Dog food is this guy. That's aluminum. But that's. I don't know. That's recyclable stuff. So I don't. I don't take things. Only thing, if there was anything in here like electronics. I don't know what that guy is. More. It looks like plastic. If there was like electronics, or that one time there was the boxes of uh, like glassware and china things. You guys might remember that. It was actually right over there. There's three boxes. That was actually snow. There was snow in it. There was a comic in that. That would be the only thing I'd actually grab. You gotta smash these boxes up and throw them in there. Um, I want to actually grab recyclables because it is a recycling thing and then you're kind of like really stealing. As opposed from like taking the stuff that someone dumps here illegally. So it has been a fun treasure hunt today. I know we didn't grab too much. Um, I did did grab this. So what I'm going to do with this is I think pop this guy open and take out that guy. I think that's the battery everyone talks about right there. Um, that might be, I don't know, a couple dollars, two dollars maybe in scrap. Maybe I can sell this guy. Like I said, I want to take stuff to this auction house because they have a lot of stuff that just gets crazy money. And then we got this stuff as well, which, you know, the pineapple fan I just grabbed out of the trash. And this guy I bought at the auction. Lots of 19 I think I already grabbed this one. Same exact one. But some of these are like from the 50s, I think. Row. I don't know who Row is. I got a letter in there. Got a bunch of paper stuff. Gotta go through that, but... Yeah, that's going to wrap it up. I'm going to throw these cardboard boxes in there, and hopefully you guys enjoy this treasure hunt. I know it has been plentiful, like, sometimes, but, hey, you never know. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I know I'm going to an auction here in a couple days, and I'm thinking about, uh, well, I'm thinking about going to the auction. I know flea market season starts up about a week, so. These are, like, the kind of last couple weeks before to get in before the flea market. Uh, it should be fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smack that like button, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace!